The 90FLT is supplied with calibration solutions here to calibrate the pH. Two calibration solutions have been provided, a pH 6.88 and a pH 4. I've poured those solutions into another jar so that we can place the sensor in there for calibration and ensure the sensor is submersed at least 30 millimeters in that solution. To calibrate the pH sensor, you must also include the conductivity sensor, which has a temperature sensor on the end of it. Both sensors must be in the solution at the same time. Here we're about to calibrate a pH 4, the first point pH calibration. Place the sensors in the solution. To calibrate the first point of pH, press F1 for calibrate, F3 for pH. Once the pH measurement has equilibrated or settled, you then press Enter to calibrate for pH buffer 4. Remove the sensors from the pH 4 solution and rinse both sensors with deionized water. Once to rinse, place both sensors the pH sensor and conductivity sensor in the second calibration buffer, pH 6.88 for calibration. Press the F3 pH selection. Allow the sensor to equilibrate to the buffer value. Once it is settled, press the enter button again for the second point pH calibration. The instrument then displays the sensor performance a slope and a symmetry. Remove the pH sensor from the 6.88 buffer and rinse with deionized water before use. To store the pH sensor, just replace the wetting cap back on the end with a bit of tap water in it. To calibrate a TPS WP80 pH meter, the calibration procedure is the same as the 90 FLT. First, press Menu, and then press F1 to Cal. To complete the Cal, however, press F1 instead of Enter. 